Hello again, everybody. This is TJ, the Stereo Bargain File. And today, I'm going to be giving an overall complete step-by-step -step for people that have two-channel stereo receivers and two-channel integrated amplifiers that don't have a sub RCA subwoofer output to go to a powered sub. I'm going to show you how you can hook your two-channel receiver and two-channel integrated amp up with only using the B speaker's output. But there's two things that you have to have to be able to use your two channel receiver or integrated amp to be able to do this. The first thing you gotta have is you gotta have speakers A and speakers B. The second thing you gotta have on the powered subwoofer itself, instead of just having RCA inputs, uh, low level inputs you need where you can run straight speaker wire the left and right channel speaker wire into the subwoofer through high inputs and uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you a step by step how to do that and we're going to be doing that by using speaker B output speaker A output as you can see here is already hooked up to two front speakers but we want a little extra bass when we want a subwoofer that is an active subwoofer. That means it's powered. It has its own amp built inside. And I'm getting ready to pause this and we're going to go to the back of each of these. And I'm going to show you how to hook it up. And uh, But just remember, you got to have A and B speaker output so you can run your front speakers on A and your powered subwoofer on B output. Okay, I'm going to pause this, and we're going to go to the rear of each, the amplifier, and the subwoofer. Okay, here's the back part of the two-channel receiver amplifier. As you can see, there is no subwoofer output. None at all. But, oh, what do we have here? We have speaker A output going across left to right and we have speaker B output left and right so that's the first thing that we need second thing we need is a powered subwoofer that has high level in what this means is you can run speaker wires straight through this you want to match them up positive to positive negative to negative so what we're going to do we're going to take speaker wires and we're going to run from each side, left, left side here, to left side here, right side here, to right side here. Very easy. And I'm going to be using, here's the speaker wires I'm going to be using. I got uh, banana plugs on one end to make it easier, but you can just use two straight wires. You could run, you know, from the left side here, negative, positive. The left side on B negative and positive. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and then I'll come right back. Okay, I got the left side high level input. I got it already plugged up here. I didn't use banana connectors on these, on the, on this one, on this side. But I did on this side. You don't have to do that. You can use bare wire or better yet, you could use two five-way binding uh when you're using your five-way binding post you can use two banana plugs on each side all my stuff's broke down and hooked up and everything else so this is the easiest way for me to show you so you see left side speak on speaker b output positive negative left side positive negative make sure you get that right now i'm going to pause it one more time and i'm going to hook up the right side Okay, now I have both left and right hand side speaker wire going straight into the high level input of the powered subwoofer. Now on the other end, I did use banana plugs to make it easier just to plug them in on B. Remember, I used A for my front speakers. There's my other front speakers. And I'm down here, I'm using B output to run to the powered subwoofer and on most these two channel receivers and two channel integrated amplifiers 
you will have a, a button that you can turn B off and on and A off and on. And we'll do that here in a minute. And I highly recommend you to use caution when doing this. Make sure everything's unplugged, turned off. You don't want to get anything backwards. You don't want to run a positive to a negative, negative to a positive. So just to be safe, keep everything unplugged and keep, and keep safe. Okay, so now we're going to go to the front and we're going to see how this works. Pause it for one second to you all. Okay, now it's time to test it out and see if I'm getting that high input signal to a powered subwoofer so I can have a little bit of low end, deep bass, even though I don't have an RCA rear um, electrical port to go out to the um, subwoofer. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. My phone was dying, so I had to charge it up just real quick. But anyways, everything's hooked up. I showed y'all step by step how to hook everything up by using speaker B output to the high input of the powered subwoofer. So now I'm going to turn it on. And this speaker wire I'm just using as an antenna so I didn't have to hook up a CD player or anything. We're going to tuner. 92.1. Getting a pretty good signal. Now I'm going to go to speaker A, which is my front speakers. There we hear it. Now, I'm going to turn off the front speakers, see if the sub goes. Oh my goodness. And there you go. You can, it is really a humping. I think I got the volume way up on it here. I'll turn the volume down on it. So there you see the powered subwoofer working. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to push A and B and play the subwoofer and the front speakers. And there you have it, folks. That's how you take a two-channel stereo amplifier or a two-channel integrated amplifier and hook up an active, a powered subwoofer. Very easy. Just need to have those two things I was telling you all about. One, need a two channel amplifier that has A and B output. And, you need a power subwoofer that has a high level input. And that's how we do it. And just remember, if you don't feel like using the subwoofer, turn it off. Now you just got your front speakers. If you feel like using the subwoofer, push B speaker on. And there you have it, folks. And this is TJ, Stereo Bargain File. Thanks again.